Two Nice Cube live at CKXU. So how do you think the radio interview is going to go today, Nice Cube? So what's it like having your own show on the radio? It's pretty neat. It's a bit um, <clears throat> of a responsibility, but it's mostly just kind of fun. How do you feel about interviewing Bob Hug? Are you excited? I am excited. <laughs> I don't. Is Bob Hug the most famous group you've ever had on your show? <laughs> so sit back and watch the Hug Magic. Yeah. Headphones. I do just to, just to make sure everything is going to be. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do today. You are listening to The View from here on CKXU 88.3 FM, Lethbridge's True Alternative, broadcasting to you live from the University of Lethbridge, located on traditional Blackfoot territory. What you just heard was the new weather machine with <coughs> sand vultures off of his album, Seas of Dawn. The man behind the new weather machine, John Martin, will be playing a solo show at the Slice Bar and Grill on Friday the 5th of October. Doors for that are at 8 p.m. and cover is $10. But there is another show happening that Friday, and I've brought in a couple of guests to uh, promote it because they are uh, the headlining band and they are releasing their album that night. So, uh, I want to intru uh, introduce uh, yourselves to the audience, uh, Bomb Hug. Yeah, you already know who it is. You know, I'm Tupac. That's Too Nice Cube, you know. He's, he's a little shy around microphones. I mean, not like microphones on our records or like on stage, but like, what kind of microphone is this? Um, it's these ones I think it's an SM3. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. He don't talk much. Okay, so wait, when you said that was new weather machine, was that the new new weather machine or was that old new weather machine? Um, I'd say somewhere in between at this point. It was like 2017. I, I guess it, I guess it's still the That's, that's pretty, pretty new. That's, that's pretty, pretty new dope. weather yeah. machine. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. new weather machine. That's dope. Yeah. It's dope. Anyways, uh Two Skilled so, Martin, he actually uh, mastered our record. Nice. Two Skilled. He's, nice. he's John Martin from the new New Weather Machine, the not the old new one. Weather Machine. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, tell us about uh, your show, like where it's gonna be, what time is, stuff like that. Uh, it's October fifth. It's coming up next Friday, this Friday, whatever Friday you want to happen first, and uh, we're gonna have sessions. A punk rock band open up. We're doing an old school hall style, it's Polish Hall, 13th Street North, 7th something, you know, you'll figure it out. Just Google the Polish Hall and you'll find it. Sounds good. Uh, so we're going to play uh, some of your music and also some music uh, from other local artists that you chose. But first I'm going to ask a couple of questions. Perfect. <laughs> uh, what other musical projects have each of you been involved in? I'm going to let my main man, uh, Too Nice Cube, answer this one. Yeah, what was that other one that you win? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. That's pretty much it, you know. Like, I've been in a few bands before, but nothing as big as this, so don't even matter. Ooh, I like that. Just, just clear, just uh, clean slate. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, you know, Phantom Creeps days and atrophies and whatever, super void stuff, you know. Yeah. It's hug life. It's hug life. That's yeah. it. You know, we're rolling back to the street now, so it's. Yeah. Um, how did uh, this group form? Well, how did any group form, really? Like, like if 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 a man falls in the woods and no one's around to help him. 
is he going to be okay? You know, probably not. So, like, what does that mean? Mm. You know, like, like yeah. well, basically, this, this was all electricity. It was our rhymes. We had the rhymes, but we didn't, like, we had the switches and the wires. We just didn't have any bulbs. And then once we met Two Beers, he came in and he gave us all the beats. And he was like the light at the end of all the electricity, you know? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, I'm going to play our first uh, bomb hug track of the night. Uh, this is one by the name of Roses, and it's off of... Uh, actually, all of them are going to be off of uh, your new album. Yeah, this one's like it's like a love ballad. Uh, it's kind of a rock song. It does it actually get to our hip hop stuff, but uh, you know it it'll make your bomb cry. Yeah, and that's that's all that counts, really. Yeah. So the uh, the album for those of you listening is called Hard Tracks and Jaunty Jingles or Fantastic Beats and Where to Find Them. Harry so, Potter. Yeah. Here is Roses by Bomb Hug. <laughs> Listen on your bed of roses This is a shout out to all my bows There's Parker and Jesse and Bojo Hansen All my bows in a row with roses Alright, that last track you heard was Bomb Hug with Roses off of their new album Hard Tracks and Jaunty Jingles or Fantastic Beats and Where to Find Them uh, which will be dropping on Friday, October 5th at the Canadian Polish Association of Lethbridge and uh, doors for that are at 9 p.m. and cover is $10 and uh, I've got the two boys in the booth right now to uh, talk some more about stuff two-thirds, yeah Yeah. so, uh, let's see uh, who were some of the influences on Bomb Hug's music? Yeah. Like, I can't say it any better than, than Nice Cube here, but, uh, yeah, there was a lot of, you know, jaunty jingles writers out there that do this, do the thing. Uh, Ronnie, he's our, uh, German schlager singer, idol. We love him. He died in 2011. God, God rest his soul. Um, uh, other than that, there's like, you know, like you just heard it. Like, there was Gunners in there. You know, there's a little bit of uh, Paul McCartney covered by Gunners. And there's some Bob Dylan covered by Gunners. So we're covering Gunners, making it sound a little better than Gunners, I think. Um, yeah, and then, you know, anything old school. Uh, Coleco Vision, you know, MASH, the TV show. Like, all... all like everything, everything, you know, we we get our influences everywhere. Like if if someone's like, did did Michael Jordan and Space Jam have something to do with your record? We'd be like, well, yeah, probably a little bit, you know, because he probably met Shaq once, and that's you know part of BKB, and that's what we came to do, you know. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, who are some other favorite artists of yours? Uh, well, I'll tell you one artist that ain't our favorite. That's the Wordsmith Collective. They better be watching out because we stepping up on on their tracks. And yeah, hard like that. Like actually, like even maybe harder. Yeah, kind of oh. like that. So so hard there weren't even any harmonics for a bit there. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's like Rico, Rob, Mr. Personal. They got beef with us, and we got beef with them. So we're, we're gonna take them down. You know. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Guys. Better watch out if you're listening. Don't step. Yeah, so uh, we're going to move on with a track from uh, wha that you chose from a different local artist. Uh, this one, an old band called Luster Cream. And uh, this is the first track off of their self-titled album. Yeah. It's called Where Do I Go From Here. Where do I go from? was Lusta Cream with Where Do I Go From Here, the first track off of their self-titled album as chosen by Bomb Hug, uh, two-thirds of whom are in the studio. Yeah. Or, I guess it's a booth, it's not really a studio, but 
Uh, anyways, I'm gonna ask them a couple questions and then play another song of their own. Uh, so, if you were to switch to any new genre, what would it be? Uh, probably like Power Slap, maybe? Okay. Yeah. What, what about you, Too Nice? <laughs> Also, I think like whatever Snow and Shaggy were, like we, we might want to try and a record like that. That might be pretty good, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think like Two fun. Nice Cubes got the right idea though. That yeah. sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. not bad. Um, if you could learn any new instrument, what would it be? Oh. I would like to learn the harmonica. <laughs> Wow. Doesn't everybody? I didn't expect that one. That was out of left field. Nice one, Q. Jeez. Um, I'd probably say the bassoon, because it's a fun, you know, fun thing to say. Like, yeah. like I, I just bassooned today, you know? That's, a, that's, yeah. that's pretty dope. I, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, uh, we're going to play another song that starts with the, with the word where, uh, this time by you guys. It's uh, once again off of the album Hard Tracks and Jaunty Jingles or Fantastic Beats and Where to Find Them and... Uh, right out in front of you, I'd say. Yeah. Like, where to park my car, yeah. like, it's right there. Yeah. Like, it's, r it's right in front it's of you. It's right there, just... You uh, gotta reach out and grab it. Yeah. Yeah. Or, like, turn on the alarm so you can find it better, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that album will be released at the Canadian Polish Association of Lethbridge on Friday, October 15th, doors at 9 p.m., cover $10. Here is Bomb Hug with Where Did I Park My Car, only on CKXU 88.3 FM, uh, Lethbridge's true alternative broadcasting from uh, the University of Lethbridge on Blackfoot territory. Word. Where did I park my car? Where did I park my car? All right, that uh, last track you heard was Where Did I Park My Car? Uh, question everyone in this country and also the country below us and possibly the country below that and possibly every country in the world has asked at some point in well, their Well, yeah, life. smaller countries and smaller cars. Right? Yeah. You know, Not all, you, all you really need is a car to know where you parked. Or forget, or where, forget you parked. where you parked. Or forget where you parked. Yeah. Yeah. I don't drive a car or own a key fob, so right. I, I don't know the struggles. I mean... <laughs> uh, anyways, that is off of uh, Bomb Hug's new album, Hard Tracks and Jaunty Jingles, and blah 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 blah. Uh, they will be playing at <laughs> the Canadian... <laughs> the Canadian Polish Association of Lethbridge on Friday, October 5th. Um, which I've said a few times now, so I'm just gonna go on to <clears throat> a couple more questions. Yeah. For these, uh, for these boys. Shoot. If y'all can dig it, let's go. If you could play anywhere in the world, where would you play? It's cold out. Easy. What about you, Too Nice Cube? I would play at the Canadian Polish Association of Lethbridge on 745 13th Street North on October 5th. Uh, doors open nine o'clock. Ten well, actually, cover. that's the first place he's playing in the world because he didn't actually know how to play, and now he's playing. It's like, yo, here's my show. Uh, it's, it's like it's like the old saying, like you can you can teach a man about fish, but he only like remembers it for like a day, right? Or you can give a man a blue planet like box set, and he's like learned about fish for life, you know? So like you can just yeah, I watch that every day, and I never forget about fish. Yeah. Um, if you could add anyone into the group, who would it be? Oh, y'all know who it is. Mr. Worldwide, Mr. 403, the pit bull. We're going to get him, you know, Mr. Worldwide. You ever heard of him? No. He, he does hype tracks he's, for, like, the whole uh, world. He's too nice <laughs> like to keep shaking everybody. his head. <clears throat> Yo, Mr. Worldwide, if you're listening, come play on our next jam. Let's go. Do it. What 405 about or whatever the number is, you know. 
Good. something or other. Uh, what about you, Too Nice Cube? Uh... Mr. Billy Joel. Billy Joel. Yo. Yeah. Do you think uh do you think Billy Roll Joel can rap? Top. Uh can rap? And yeah, Billy and how and how well do you think he can rap? Billy Joel can do anything any man has ever tried. Doesn't even matter. He'll be able to rap on your record. Don't even matter. He's the only other guy I know that came out with an acapella song, so mm. I think he'd fit right in with us. Uh Huey Lewis. Hello. Oh yeah. Yeah. But uh I don't think Huey Lewis started off in a metal band, so there's that. What you saying? Billy Joel played metal? He did. That was his. Uh, that was his first band. Was some some like metal band in the late sixties. Well, you got to roll with the Joel. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we're gonna play another track off. Uh, this time off of uh, the last uh, album by Atrophy Manuscript, and. Uh, <clears throat> that album is called Set Up the Upset, and the track is called Platonic Rocket. Yeah, it sounds kind of disappointing, but they, they were like the best band until till we came around, so <laughs> yeah. might as well give them a shout out. Let's go. That was Platonic Rocket from Atrophy Manuscript on yeah. their final album, Set Up the Upset, as chosen by my guests tonight, Bomb Hug. Well, we're all about the old school, and we had to throw it back, so, you know. Uh, the bass player in that band, C. Money Nelson, it's his birthday today. I'd like to give him a big happy birthday shout out. Sink and Ship Supply Company, get all your dope merch press there. He, he'll work your wonders. He's good. Happy birthday, see money Oh, yeah. Um, so I actually ran out of the questions I wrote down, so I'm just going to ask some, like, off the top of my head. Um, when you wake up in the morning, what is your ideal breakfast meal? Uh, boom time. What just right, I, I, what, like, what do you shout when you wake up in the morning? Boom time. Mm. You can eat. You can eat whatever you want as long as you got that thought in your head. Boom time. You have Fruit Loops, you know, banana breads, whatever you got. Yeah, you know, boom when time. I when I wake up in the morning, I'm feeling sad and lonely. I gotta face a day of school, but then I think to myself, what's to be afraid of? I ask, I can ask a question, or maybe even bend the rules. Word. 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 That's deep. Yeah. Yeah. What else you got? Um. Hmm. If you could go down to the theater and see any of the movies playing right now, what would it be? Ghostbusters. Is that Queen movie out yet? I don't think so, no. No, <coughs> no I don't think it's coming. I wouldn't even for... go then. I wouldn't yeah. even go. I oh. wait till that Queen oh. movie, that's it. Yeah, it's definitely it's saving Ghostbusters. Up for that one. Yeah. 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 That's the real superheroes. Mm. You know? Yeah. They they save rock and roll. It's the only thing we're saving. You yeah. know, you save girls and like, yeah, and then then they just like, you know, nag at you. What? <laughs> <laughs> nah, girls are good. It's all good. Yeah. Um. Anyways, we're gonna play another bomb hug track off of their new album, and uh, this one goes by the name of Two Beers, uh, which is the absent member uh, for tonight's episode. Yeah. Yeah, he ain't here, but, you know, <coughs> crack two beers. He's here in spirit. Celebrate it. Yeah. So, here it is, two beers. And you won't stop! And you can't stop!